Is it possible to hold a music festival in Syria, Israel and Palestine at the same time? The Terra Sancta Organ Festival did it. The Organ Music Festival, organized by the Custody of the Holy Land, reached Damascus, Latakia, Aleppo, Tel Aviv, Nazareth, Haifa, Jerusalem and Bethlehem, with 20 concerts in November. Since 2016, the Terra Sancta Organ Festival in Syria has been the only international classical music festival active in the country, a sign of solidarity that goes beyond the emergency. Culture in general, and music in particular, constitute the nourishment of people's souls and thoughts. In times of war and in times of crisis, the tools of culture and communication play a great role in calming minds and rethinking our present and our future. We always hope that this collaboration will continue through this annual event, with the participation of prominent musicians. It highlights the importance of music in terms of civilization and culture, and at the same time its message of love and peace from Syria to the world. The concerts were performed by world-class organists such as Spaniard Juan de la Rubia, organist of the Basilica of the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, Italian Silvio Celeguin of the Orchestra dell'Accademia Nazionale di Santa Cecilia in Rome, and Austrian Michel Koller, an expert in improvisation and acoustic experimentation. Local artists include the Syrian National Symphony Orchestra, Aleppo's Classica Ensemble, and the famous Kenan Adnawi with his Oud. Music is a language that everyone understands, that everyone enjoys, that goes beyond political differences. I would say it is an antidote, a strong antidote, against divisions and conflicts, and hopefully it's a step forward for Syria, for the unity of Syria. The Holy Land Pipe Organ Week's concerts in Israel and Palestine were well attended in all cities and featured internationally renowned artists. In Jerusalem, the concerts were hosted in St. Saviour's Church, headquarters of the custody of the Holy Land, in Bethlehem, in the Basilica of the Nativity, in Nazareth, in the Basilica of the Annunciation, and in Tel Aviv, in St. Peter's Church. The concerts by Italian organists Cosimo Prontera and Giulio Mercati were held in cooperation with the Italian Cultural Institute in Tel Aviv and the Italian Cultural Institute in Haifa. In Tel Aviv, the concert featured soprano Giuliana Mettini, who performed some arias accompanied on the organ by Prontera. Thanks to the partnership with the Hungarian Embassy in Israel, the Hungarian Representative Office in Ramallah and the Romanian Institute of Culture, organist Misadzaros Zolt Mate from Hungary and Kristina Struta from Romania performed successfully in all the cities touched by the festival. The Czech Centre in Tel Aviv partnered with the Holy Land Organ Festival for the concert by Czech Karel Martinek in Haifa. The success in terms of audiences and that of collaborations with local cultural institutes and institutions bodes well for future editions. This year we opened to two public facilities. Concerts were also held in the auditorium of the Hecht Museum in Haifa in cooperation with the Israel Organ Association and in the beautiful Damascus Opera House in cooperation with the Damascus Opera House. Next year, the Terra Sancta Organ Festival will turn 10 years of uninterrupted activity and we are thinking of something special. Mm -hmm.